What is up, guys? T Double on here with another reaction video. Oh, yeah, and you probably see that I already disliked the video uh, because I had done an original reaction to this where I gave literally the mono, like, the literal monologue of my life at the end of the reaction video, which I don't feel like going into, which I don't know. I might go into, but maybe not. Um, and it was pretty great. The reaction video, uh, original reaction video would have been 40-something minutes. Um, but, yeah, but because OBS absolutely sucks, uh, there was no audio. And I found that out right when I was about to edit the video. So before I get into what I truly think about the creators of OBS, um let's just get into the reaction video because I can definitely assure you that uh, it's not very TOS friendly. So let's just get into this. I'm already pissed off. Hello there, my very good friends. On today's wrestling news, Vince McMahon kicked out of WWE Creative. WWE stars react to Vince McMahon's creative removal. Title Tuesday is tonight and Tony Khan is going completely nuts. <laughs> and the next AEW signing <laughs> has been given a strange WWE ring name. I'm Adam. We're just going to go into the event stuff. The Tony Khan stuff, don't care. Already talked about on Booty Hunter News. The uh, Brian Pillman Jr. stuff, I don't really care. Maybe I'll talk about it on Booty Hunter News, but uh, right now I don't care. I'm well born, <laughs> and I'm excited for oh, all of this. Here we go, and this is the news. All right, we're going to kick this thing off by talking about uh, WWE creative situation. Big story breaking last night. It began with Mike Johnson for PW Insider Elite stating that he didn't know for sure, but the belief... And, of course, their source... Their source, of course, is Mike Johnson from PW Insider. Dave Meltzer, Mike Johnson, Brian Alvarez. These dorks at what culture? Birds of a flock really stick together, don't they? Belief within WWE was that Vince McMahon is effectively doing bugger all creative in WWE anymore. So the report was... Triple H is understood to be driving 99.9% .9 mm -hmm. of creative going forward. This is what everything not involved. No, I no, he actually is in charge of creative. Like, I don't get what people don't understand about this. He's in charge of creative, which means rather it's good, which it's mostly not. Or rather, it's bad, which it mostly is. He's got to be called out for either. So, yeah. And he's been in charge of creative for a while. So this isn't even, like, actually news. It's been obvious with how bad the product's been for years. All right. Austin Theory. Yeah, it seems that way. <laughs> uh, this is the belief. But you know what? But you know what? Before we continue to get into the thing about it is, yes, he is in charge of creative. But the crazy thing about it is, even though Vince is not in charge of creative, I guarantee you, I guarantee fucking to you, because neither these dorks or you know, none of these wrestling marks out here um, are going to ever call out any of Triple H's bad decisions. They won't call out anything Triple H does, but they'll damn sure do it to Vince. Some of it even being lies, but they'll still call it out. Triple H, on the other hand, nope. But let's get into it. Because they'll still find a way to blame Vince no matter what. So, Within WWE from internal sources, uh, they believe that Paul Levesque, Triple H, has essentially been knighted by Endeavor. They knighted. Oh, God. You would use that term, you dorks. They've taken the sword. In this case, it's probably a sledgehammer. Yes. Uh, and they oh, stop with the cringe. God, what culture. I don't know. Oh, my. It, it, it. I wouldn't ever, mind you, 
If it wasn't for the fact that I was doing this for content on YouTube, I would never watch this kind of shit ever. Just know that. I do that for y'all, bruh. <laughs> they've tapped him on the shoulders and they've gone, go forth and write good wrestling, uh, which is something increasingly that Vince McMahon is not capable of. Mm -hmm. There it is. Count it, count it, count it, count it. One point, no, one minute, nine seconds into the fucking video. Bam, there's already a quick jab. And the crazy thing about it is people go to these guys uh, for their wrestling info. You know, they go for to them as a reputable source in wrestling. I don't know why, but they do. And you would think with that big of influence around the internet wrestling community, you might, just might, want to try to be a little bit more uh, objective with your takes. And by objective, obviously meaning not one-sided. Whether you're for Vince or whether you're for Triple H, with that much influence, you really, it really, really would be good to be objective. Because you just, like, how are people supposed to take you seriously, which I already don't, if you're just going off of shit like this? And look at, dude, look at a shit-eating grin. This son of a bitch right here. Man, ugh. This tells you all you need to know about what, culture? This tells you all you need to know about the modern-day wrestling audience. That Triple H, Tony Khan, all these fuckers cater to. This, this are d wrestling fans now. This asshole right here that I got the little mouse cruiser on. And that's why wrestling is in the horrible shape that it is. Listening to dumbasses like these two. Um, so... This is a whole... Which, mind you, these people also have 2.9 2 million subscribers. 2.9 million subscribers, again, with that much influence around the internet wrestling community, you seriously would do well to be objective so that you can open both sides of the discussion. But, of course, won't be, won't bother to be. <coughs> Fucking sad. 2.9 million subscribers. While people like J Rants out there, people like Destructor don't even have half that. You know, people like, like, and mind you, these aren't wrestling creators. Well, I think J Rants kind of is, but Destructor isn't, at least not anymore. But there's people like Colt Classic Cage, uh, 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 people like fucking. Uh, oh, no, it's Alex. You know, lots of great content creators out there who really, and for Tanga Plays, that really put time and effort into their stuff and are not just paid shills that don't even have half the subs. That the, This really just lets you know everything about, you know, how far ass-kissing can really get you on this platform. We'll, we'll kind of summarize our thoughts once we've gone through your story yes. rather than kind of editorializing now. But this is obviously a whole saga. Uh, Vince was forced to resign in disgrace amid myriad sexual misconduct allegations in July 2022. Resign in disgrace. Resign in disgrace. I mean, I'm glad they at least um, said it was allegations because we still ain't got no proof as to if he fucking did it. Because it's just been a literal testimony from a clearly bitter bitch who either was hoping one day to be the next Mrs. McMahon or... Who knows what 
you know, maybe the checks just stop coming. And that's when she finally just said, hey, I'm going to screw this guy's life up. I'm assuming that's got to be the case. One can assume. Because we still do not have any evidence of such misdeeds going on. But people are still making the judgment that Vince McMahon is a complete deviant. Okay. No proof at all. Because proven... Because innocent before proven guilty is just not a thing anymore, I guess. When that happened, Triple H became chief content officer and by default the head of creative. Um, positive stuff. Fan responses online. People talking about wrestling feel much better about the show. Lots. How is it positive? You people feel better about the show. That's not everybody. Why can't you just... This is what kills me about these wrestling mo- Why the hell can't you just say that the product's better for you? That you like it? Don't try to make it seem as if everybody likes it. Because clearly that's not true. And positive changes? What positive changes? Because Fox is about to be done with... Because Fox revealed their channel lineup for 2024. And SmackDown ain't on it. Already reports of USA planning on completely putting the kibosh to Raw and USA on their network. But positive changes, though. Endeavor's stock going down, literally right after putting Triple H in full charge of creative. But again, positive changes, though. Ratings dropping constantly for both Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. NXT with Undertaker and John freaking Cena in Paul Heyman couldn't even pull a mill. Couldn't even pull a million. With all that going on. But positive changes, though, definitely. Lots of people coming back, lots of people getting pushed, they weren't getting pushed before business, doing really well. What did I just say? How is business doing well? They're doing worse, idiots. And stop saying business is doing well because you clearly don't know shit about it. Because, dude, you don't give a shit if the business does well or not. You don't give a jack darn crap if the business does well or not. You don't even give a crap if WWE were to fucking close down tomorrow. Because guess what? You got... All these other wrestling shows out there that cater to your interest, that cater to the wrestling that you like. So really, you couldn't give a fuck about WWE. You really couldn't. Which is why I don't know why WWE goes out of their way to cater to people like you. Because you clearly could not give a fuck less. They need to just focus more on making good television. Instead of catering to dorks like this. Who just want their uh, uh, 30 minute Iron Man matches constantly all over the show. Uh, 30 minute super kick parties taking over the show. Taking up time on the show. That could be dedicated to making new stars. Making memorable moments. It was good, it was great, it was fun, and then we got to January and Vince kind of crowbarred his way back into the company. Because it's his fucking company. He is a Mc... He is Vince McMahon. He is Vince Kennedy McMahon. It is his company. When Vince McMahon Sr. died and passed it on to him, it became Vince McMahon's. It solely became Vince McMahon's. So Vince McMahon can do what he wants, essentially. He still can. It's his company. Even if he sold it to Endeavor, it's still his shit. And it always will be until, I guess, otherwise. Just like if Stephanie wanted to crowbar her way back into it, she can. Because she's a McMahon. Same with Shane. Same with Linda. And hell, if Shane's son 
wanted to like quit football and you know make his way into he can he's the McMahon Triple H is not a McMahon he's a McMahon in law and then, bad enough, there's already rumors of him and Stephanie splitting up uh, or at least separating, which I don't know how true that is. But if it's true, then what the fuck does that really do to Triple H's sort of uh, power in WWE? What does that do for his position in WWE? You ever stop to think about that? Oh, no, of course not. Because you only care about your 30 minute flip super kick fest. Nothing else matters. By saying, hello, board of directors, if you don't let me back in, I'm not consenting to a new rights deal or a sale of the company. And if you think that's just us making that up, nope, public documents are available online. You can go and find them. That's literally what happened. Mm -hmm. He came back by April. It was announced that Endeavor had taken over the company or were about to take over the company. He sat there on TV and said, I won't be getting in no heat's a creative pal. And then literally tore up the entire Raw after WrestleMania. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> and, uh, First off, nope, 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 nope to all of that. Vince has not been back in creative. It's all been Triple H ever since. Ever since McMahon... Ever since Vince had those allegations against them and had to leave the company for that little bit, ever since then, it's all been Triple H. Every bit of it. And that happened. And yeah, since then, it feels like barely a week. But people are just going to say that it was Vince sneaking back in creative because of, you know, a few things happening in WWE that they didn't like. Because apparently Triple H can do no wrong. To these people, Triple H can do no wrong. He makes good wrestling all the time. Everything he does is good. Everything. Every fucking thing. He can never have a bad show. He can never, he, he, he can never have a bad show. He can never do anything wrong in WWE. Ever. And they only say that. And these marks really only said. And, and, and here's the thing. This isn't even just to wrestling marks. These isn't even, even just to the internet darlings, to the internet. Um, yeah, this isn't even just exclusive to them, because even though they only like Triple H because he pushes a lot of their favorites, um, not even solely just to cater to them, but really just for his own fucking ego, because he knows that a Johnny Gargano, a Seth Rollins. Uh, 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 a fucking shit cake knock of Murphy, a uh, Tommaso Ciampa, none of these people will ever surpass or become superstars to the level or past the level that he is. That's why he likes them, because he doesn't see them as threats. People like L.A. Knight, people like Elias, you know, people like Lashley, people like Braun Breaker, he sees as threats. And I'm sure he even sees Roman Reigns as a threat too. But the problem with Roman Reigns is that he's gotten into such a he's gotten into such a good position where he is like almost immune to everything. So whether Vince is at the helm or Triple H is, Roman's alright. Roman's gonna be good. <laughs> it don't matter who the fuck is really in charge of creative, because Roman's gonna be alright. It's almost as if he has like an ironclad contract or something, which he probably does at this point. But yeah, he doesn't. But yeah, that's the thing. Like, like it's all been Triple H, man. These people aren't going to hold him accountable for anything. But yeah, it's not exclusive to the wrestling marks because there's attitude era marks. Yes, attitude era marks. It, there's a such thing. And these are people who, if you are in the Attitude Era, you're automatically just great. Automatically. And nothing you can do. You can't do anything wrong. If you were in that Monday Night Wars era, you can't do, you can do no wrong. Everything you do is great. Everything you do is right. Everything you say is gospel. Yeah, there's people like that, too. And I think those are, like, yeah... Uh, people like that are huge Triple H marks. 
because he was one of the top guys in the Attitude Era to them, and because of that, he can do no wrong. It's fucking sad. So you got two types of people of those types of wrestling marks that will never hold Triple H accountable. His past, where we haven't gone, yeah, he changed Raw. Yeah. Uh, we got to the point where we were just utterly bored of doing those stories because it was every single week. Poor Tegan Knox. Yeah, I know. Like, he just. Tegan Knox sucks. She. Tegan Knox is just a chick with colored hair, with, with rainbow hair and tattoos. She's 6'9 without the charisma. The fuck is wrong with you? Tegan Knox, shut the fuck up. Tegan Knox ain't shit. Tegan Knox is just there. Scrap. You don't even care about Tegan Knox. That, that's the thing. Dude, you don't you people don't even give a shit about Tegan Knox. You just want to make it seem like you support all these other wrestlers who weren't getting their shot. Shut up. Rap stuff. Well, that slowed down a bit. Obviously, he went for back surgery, so he wasn't working uh, during that period. But now... Oh, well, they just said it. They just said it. He wasn't work. Bro, they even just admitted that he wasn't there when the back surgery was happening. But they were still blaming on him anyways. That whole time, even when he was getting... Oh, my fucking God, dude. The literal fucking delusion. The literal, the del- oh my god, these people are delusional. They are delusional. I'm telling you, man, they live in their own fantasy world known as the wrestling bubble, and it's clear as day. He's got 0.1 percent control. I don't know how they calculated that, but yes, I'd, I'd love to see the equation. Uh, but how do the wrestlers feel about it? Apparently, oh, they've all walked out. Apparently, the WWE wrestlers are absolutely devastated about Vince McMahon being removed from creative. Oh, no, wait a second. Hold the story upside down. Um, a significant, <laughs> That's how words work. <laughs> a significant boost in optimism in recent weeks, according to Fightful Select reports on this. Yeah, a major upswing because uh, that old git's not involved with it anymore. Um, now, most talent were never actually informed that McMahon had been making creative changes, but they have eyes and ears. So, uh... <laughs> Come on. Um, WWE personnel, as Andy and I are, are taking a I'll believe it when I see it stance regarding him his removal. Um, but someone did say, I think you can take a look at the show. Johnny Gargano is back after his return was nixed, of course. Tegan Knox is on the show. Dragon Lee is all over the program. Carlito is finally factored in after being under contract for months. They didn't say that part. What the fuck was that? I'm sorry for any of you that had headphones on. What the actual F? Even as part... Look, look at how surprised this fucking partner is, right? Like, his fucking buddy right here is. I don't even think he knew that was going to happen. It was like a random autistic fit. Just... It's like a random, eh, like that. Like, just, eh, random tick, just random fucking, like, what the fuck? Oh, my God, dude. These, uh, this is, these are, these are wrestling fans now. These are, these are the people that, oh, my God, dude. This is what, these are the people that wrestling caters to now. This is why this, this is why the wrestling product will never be any good for a while i don't want to say ever again because there is a part of me that believes wrestling will get back to the promised land at some point it's just catering to dorks like this it's clearly not going to be for a while Cameron Grimes got back on TV. Bronson Reed is winning matches. Tag team titles and IC titles are getting long matches to end Raw. I'm not going to say that all these are direct results of the situation, but all those parts moving at the same time is a little too much to be a coincidence for me. And yeah, you can't disagree with those, really. No. Oh, you really can't. You really can't. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, I think that the changes he's made have been pretty ob- obvious yes. uh, when you watch the shows, and it's quite clear 
it's not difficult to disseminate or tell the difference between a Triple H match or a segment and a Vince McMahon segment. Look, we've been watching Vince McMahon promoting wrestling for 40 years. I'm not that old, but you know. <laughs> Dude, you're fucking, the color of your facial hair could have fooled me, pal. Some about, people have. About 20 years too long, really. Yeah, 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 100%. <laughs> uh, so, you know, you, you know his patterns and everything else. Yeah, it's entirely positive. Uh, I hope, I don't think he will, but it would be awfully nice if Vince just pissed off. Yeah. Well, he's not. <laughs> he's not. Uh, uh, sorry to uh, burst your bubble there. Well, actually, not really. Uh, <laughs> because, yeah, he's not. It's his fucking company. Deal with it. Let me make this clear. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make this clear to a lot of you, uh, uh, a lot of you wrestling marks out there. Um, you don't own wrestling. I know all these other companies like AW Impact, all that other shit, they cater to you, to your specific niche of wrestling that you like. Even, like, ugh, like, seriously, they cater to you. But you don't own wrestling. Like, like you don't own the WWE. You That's not your fucking call. As much as I think Triple H is a complete detriment to the fucking company, uh, you know, not just creatively, but just in other ways in general, like, like, dude, it's not my call whether he's gone or not. It's Endeavor's call. And I don't know if Endeavor will do that. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. We'll have to see in the future. But that's not your fucking call, dude. It's just not. You people don't own wrestling. You don't get to make these decisions. You don't you, you don't hold shares in World Wrestling Entertainment or Endeavor or TKO uh group. You don't. Get the fuck over yourselves, you absolute weirdos. God, Lee, you're like, oh my, it's, I'm telling you, man, people like this are like spoiled children. You can't even call these people adults, because they're, they're not. Road in the sunset, like. He's got more money than God at this point, yeah. and yeah. just, just reading this, whatever you feel about watching WWE TV, and personally, I think it's got vastly better since Triple H. Yeah, you would. Has been taken over creative. It is sometimes just nice to read that people aren't sad about turning up to work anymore. Yeah. How do you know if that's people or if that's some people? You don't know. This is what I'm talking about right here. They think they own wrestling. They think they know wrestling. They think they know the backstage things just because they read from PW Insider or, 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 or Fightful or any of these other publications. They think they know everything. These people are like these people don't know how to just be fans and just be entertained with the product because they think they know all the ins and outs of shit. You don't. Exactly. That's a nice thing across <laughs> the board. But let us know in the comment section what you yes. think of this latest creative reshuffle in WWE. If you know what's the difference, it's not a creative reshuffle. It's the same shit we've been getting since like. What, 2021, I think? Yeah. Do you like Triple H more? Do you like Vince more? If so, what's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, uh, go fuck yourself. Like, just, like... It, it, could you get any more... It, it, my God, could you... It, could you respond in any more pretentious fucking way, you absolute dicks? You fucking tea-sipping fucking British limey fucking... Pricks, you 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 couldn't respond in a more pretentious way. Like fuck you, dude. Like if people like Vince or like Triple H, I mean, yeah. Hey, ready you like any of them? Be objective, especially with the amount of influence that you have in this community. Like, come the fuck on, dude. See me, I can be objective because I got people that you know are that like. Triple H's direction, and I got people that don't, and I don't turn either of them away. You know, as long as they're not being dicks about it. You know, I welcome pretty much everybody with open arms because I can be objective. You know, like, I 
like I don't pull shit out of my ass like what culture wrestling does. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. You can no, no, no. Too late. Too late for that. Nope. You made yourself pretty damn clear right there. Your stance was pretty clear right there of what the hell you truly thought of anybody that does not think the same way you do. Go fuck yourself. Like what you like. But as a human being, he's a reprehensible piece of crap. Yeah. How? How? What proof do you legitimately have of this? I know there's some things he's done. I think... I don't even know. I think he has cheated on Linda. I think I think that much has happened before. I don't really know what if that. You know what? I'm not even going to say that like I know because I don't. Because there's no proof. There's no proof of this. Like there's no actual fucking proof. I mean, I, I think I can assume that maybe him and Linda aren't together anymore because there's been, you know, with Vince being out with different women, pictures at least, but we don't know for sure. But how is he a reprehensible human being? Because you people blame him for, like, the deaths of, like, Brian Pillman. Not Brian Pillman, I'm sorry. Um, I, even though I'm sure there probably are some people that do blame him for that. But, uh, no, there's some people that blame him for, like, the death of fucking Owen Hart. As well as, like, you know, blaming people like Vince Russo for that shit. When obviously neither one of them had shit to do with that. But you people will blame him for that. But let's be real. I'm going to be real. No bones about it. I'm going to shoot straight from the hip right here. Triple H, on the other hand, um, was actually responsible for China's death. Yeah, motherfuckers. Cheated on her with Stephanie to... Get himself ahead in the wrestling world, in, in his career, to get him to get ahead, cheated on her, left her behind, and then on top of that, had a literal segment, multiple racist segments, you know, with, with Los Barricos, you know, making jokes that, ooh, they're Hispanics, so they like tacos and all this other type of shit, and then literally saying the Booker T in a fucking segment. People like you don't deserve to be, like, in the fucking main event spot or deserve to be world heavyweight champion. But we, but we're, well, we, just, we, we just absolve Triple H of all that. We just don't call Triple H out on any of that shit. But you'll be quick to call Vince McMahon a racist, you know, even though under him, let's see, uh, uh, let's see Mark Henry, Kofi Kingston, Big E, Bobby Lashley, The Rock, even though despite people, the fact that people may not think so of The Rock, but multiple black champions. Multiple black world champions under, under Vince McMahon. The only world champion, which I didn't even consider it a world belt, it was like Keith Lee. That's been the only one so far under his direction. I don't even think you can call that, though. So literally, he's had no black champions. In his, there's been no black people getting close to like a main event spot. Because notice, when he got creative, I mean, because notice how quick he was to take the fucking title off Bianca Belair. Notice how quick he was to do that. You know, once he really got into his fucking position of power. Like, get the fuck out of here with that shit, dude. Like, come on. But you'll never call Triple H out on this shit. Of course you won't. Because you're Triple H, because he's pushing your favorites. You know, he he's doing the stuff that you people like. I think the only time you people probably will call him out is when that stops. Because when that stops, or maybe when the checks stop coming in, you'll probably you'll you'll probably go grow sour on him just like you know 
plenty of people, uh, just like some people out there are starting to do. You're going to call him. You're going to be the ones calling him out, too. And there's probably being pe- there's probably going to be some people on the roster, even like with Rick Boogs, who literally admitted that under Vince, he was like taken care of much better. He was doing much better than he was under Triple H. And I'm sure he's probably not going to be the other, only one once it's all said and done admitting that type of stuff. Because once the checks stop, stop coming in, a lot of people are really going to say what they think about Triple H, dude. It's going to happen. Right now, since, you know, he's probably handing out Legends contracts, hiring up people like crazy, got a lot of people kissing his ass. But once that stops... Once he stops doing the stuff that you want him to do, that's when it's going to happen. Because the thing about Triple H is, Triple H ain't even catering to you, Marks. He ain't catering to nobody. He's only catering to his own self-interest. He, like, he, like, he, the only person, the only thing he cares about is his ego and his ego alone. But you people still kiss this guy's ass. But anyways, man, ugh, like I'm already, especially one with the whole OBS thing happening. And then ugh, watching this complete abortion of a video, like literally, I, I, I don't I don't know if I can continue on or if I want to continue on. Uh, so, yeah. With all that being said, let me know what you guys thought of this video. Let me know what you guys thought of this reaction um, in the comment section down below. And what are your thoughts um, on everything that's been said by either me or either by what culture um, about the subject of Vince McMahon uh, being kicked out of the creative as well as other things. Uh, let me know all that um, down in the comment section below. And if you want to see more uh, reaction videos like this uh, and you want to see other types of videos like my review videos uh, tier list videos smasher passes what we which we just kind of brought back um, you know uh, my hot take videos you know good old-fashioned rant videos you know let's plays like I got going right now of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas definitive edition aka defective edition and uh, WWE SmackDown versus Raw 2005, where I'm playing as the one and only true Latino Heat, not Dominic Mysterio, but Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, and if you want to see more stuff like that, and that all sounds good to you, and you want to be a part of Booty Hunter family, then feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell for all notifications so that you never miss an upload from yours truly. And with all that being said, this has been your boy, TW Booty Hunter, giving you guys another banger. And I will see you guys next time. Fuck what culture. Thank you for being an ass and not watching the whole video. You didn't listen to a single damn thing I said. Thank you for being an ass, only hearing what you wanted to and getting butt hurt like the sensitive little bitch you are. Thank you for being an ass.